And I said, if you knew George wasn't coming, why did you make an appointment for him? She said, because you told me to. Let me jump into the next one. I was taught that we should make the next hygiene appointment for 100% of our hygiene patients. Is that thinking still valid? <laughs> I'm laughing because I might have been the person that shared that 100% goal uh, with, uh, with our, 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 our listener. Uh, why is that? Because in 1982, I was the guy that said, back in 1982, you got to remember how we did uh, you know, hygiene uh, 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 recare. Uh, we sent postcards out. We had the patients self-address them. Uh, and we sent postcards and said, time to make your appointment, call us. You know, that's what was done. And I was I said, nonsense. Uh, first of all, postage is expensive. Uh, we don't need to do that. We should just make their next appointment while they're there in front of you. We had the big appointment book. You had to flip out six months. You know, we didn't have computerized scheduling. We had big appointment books. But we could just pull it out. And, you know, if this was uh, March, we're making your next appointment for September. And we go ahead and make it and put it. And then we, we'd make an appointment card where we'd fill out the day and the time, we'd hand you the appointment card and we'd hand you a magnet and say, Naren, here's the appointment reminder. Here's the magnet, put this on your fridge. We're still going to confirm, but now we've got you all set up for September. And I said, and I, I taught this for 25 years. Nobody should leave your office without making their next hygiene appointment. Nobody, nobody. Now I changed when in 2007, when I bought a practice, so 25 years I taught that. Shortly after we bought the practice, we we're having some holes in hygiene. Uh, and I went to my hygiene scheduling coordinator and I said, man, we're having a lot of holes. And she said, yeah, I, I knew George wasn't coming. And I said, if you knew George wasn't coming, why did you make an appointment for him? She said, because you told me to. <laughs> Guilty as charged. I was the guy that said, no one leaves their office without their next appointment. Uh, and so we changed that. What we've learned with, with science and data behind us in the population, about 90% of the people in the world are faithful enough about keeping the appointment you make three, four, or six months in advance. About 90% you can do that. So of the 10% that you just know, they can't remember their name after lunch, don't pound a square peg in the round hole. Use a different system for that. But the goal is 90%, so it's not 100. So doctor, to answer your question very specifically, is that still thinking still valid? No. The new number is 90%. New science, the new math is now 90%. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click like. The full podcast episode link is below. Be sure to click that if you'd like to listen to the entire podcast episode. And most importantly, be sure to ring the bell to subscribe. That means every time we upload a new episode, you'll be the first to be notified. Thanks so much.